I'm Jog, and before we actually get started, let me just say I want to apologize about the video quality. I don't know why, but on this recording session, the game had a lower frame rate than usual, and I, I don't understand what happened. It should hopefully be better for the next episode, as from what I've done before. Everything seemed to be working fine, I just don't know what was going up with this day. So, yeah, I, I do apologize about that one. And I think from here on out, the rest of these videos in the future are going to be all post-commentary. We are long past the early game, and now into the mid-game portion, so... I, I find that there's going to be a lot less panic and a lot more work to get done, so I feel like this might be the best way of doing things. However, before we move on... I would say to try and not pay too much attention to the cycle count, the cycle, like, day number, as... As I'm going to be doing this, I'm probably going to be doing a lot of back and forth going through the footage to try and focus on one thing at a time. So, yeah. With that in mind, let's get started. The first things I actually want to talk about are the little extra side story options that are available to me, available to me that I found. Starting with the frozen fossil over on the left-hand side of the world, over by that frozen slush salt geyser. We can learn a little bit more by examining the fossil and finding out, well, something about the creatures that once lived on this land. However, we don't have enough information and we do need more. Heading on over to the other side of the world, on the right hand side, we have something called the Somnium Synthesizer. I don't know much about how this one works, but from what I understand, it'll allow the duplicates to have dreams as they are wearing pajamas, and assuming that the machine is filled with oxygen. The issue being, I don't know where you get the pajamas from. I'm assuming it's from the loom, but I have my duplicates focused on other things at the moment, so I will come back to this. The machine actually says that it will increase my duplicates' skills, and I think it even reduces their stress for the day, or for a while, so that actually sounds really amazing, and I definitely need to get to this one sooner rather than later. Although, I am kind of interested in what the duplicates dream of, if not also find it a little bit a little bit scary. I'm hoping they dream of ham, and that's about it. Now, for some of the small projects, or small project, we need food. We honestly don't have enough food being generated. Like, I have the whole carnivore taken care of, but we don't have enough meat if we're going to be supplying our 22 duplicates with a strictly meat diet. And we especially don't have enough food if we're going to get our 23rd and 24th duplicates, that being black and, right, black and white into the mix. So, I'm thinking about adding in another two ranches, however... That might not even be enough, as I eventually decided I need to grow mealwood. I need to do something, because we need more food. Alongside the, fix, alongside the fact that I also have to fix one of the god dang sweepers, because it wasn't hooked up correctly because of a deodorizer I had in place. And still, this thing was just one tile out of reach. Now, for some of my, quote, big projects... The simplest one I think is going to be getting the second salt water geyser set up to make oxygen, just like the first one. However, to get the system, well, up and running, I'm going to need refined metal, and an issue I had throughout the entire recording process was figuring out how I wanted to do that. I kept on going back and forth, do I want to use the crusher to turn my gold ore into gold, and in pro the process lose half, or do I want to have the smooth hatches do it, where they eat it and I get 75% of the, the metal? The issue being that the hatches seem to be eating the metal at such a slow rate that I feel like if I waited for them, it would probably take another 50 cycles just to finish this product. So I decided to eventually just bite the bullet, then I just made the gold by hand to just speed the process along so we can get more oxygen into the base.
However, things are a little bit chilly over on this side of the world. And the water was so cold that when I went to the desalinator, it froze in the pipes and actually broke the desalinator. I actually had to heat up the pipes so that the water would not freeze and actually allow the system to actually go and run. Hopefully, by now at the end of this recording session, everything will be working fine, but I definitely need to keep an eye out on it, so that this does not happen again. Moving on to the next, quote, big project. It's not so big, but we're trying to dig down to the bottom of our world and helps to find an oil biome. Doing so will not only give me the achievement slick, but it will also allow me to get my biggest plan up in motion. However, I must advise, if you're gonna go down into the world, you want to be prepared. Either using Atmo suits, or perhaps maybe digging slowly down? I definitely recommend that if you have any, like, oxygen pockets or, like, polluted oxygen, a uh, polluted water areas to allow the polluted oxygen to go flowing, so that your duplicates can actually breathe. I had the issue where my duplicates would go down to the bottom of the world, and they would get stuck in a loop of going up the ladder and then going back down to go back up and then go back down until they eventually starve to death. Now, this happened to me twice. I reset both times because... I'm not going to let a dumb way like that just kill off a duplicate so easily. So we need to make sure that if they are going to get down there, that they have enough oxygen to breathe to get back up. So what the issue, the main issue was, is that the duplicates would go down. Eventually they would climb up the ladder, but they would need to breathe as they were starting to suffocate. So they would go to wherever the closest bit of oxygen was. That would usually be back down where they came from, so they would go back down... Take a breath, then climb back up, start to suffocate again, and go back down because, again, that's where the closest bit of oxygen was until they eventually died. Despite the fact there was so much breathable oxygen up above, this is why I'm telling you to open up any oxygen or oxygen-producing patches that you find on your way down in hopes that they don't have to hold their breath, especially since if they are carrying something and they need to stop to catch their breath, they will drop whatever they are carrying Meaning that they will be going all the way back down to pick up the item, to climb back up, to stop to catch their breath, to go back down to pick up the item, and it's just a headache. Oh my god. Or maybe don't just dig straight down like I've been doing. That's another option. Of like, go down so much, go over a tile, dig down, go back over, dig down, kind of whole, kind of like a zigzag type of thing. Okay, and lastly, on to my last and my biggest product I want to get done. I wanted to go down to get oil, because I want to use that in my metal refinery, so that we can get the full potential of our metals to refine metals. And most importantly, with the metal refinery, we can get our hands on steel. Now, the issue that comes to metal refinery is A, it needs a lot of power. Our normal wiring can only handle a thousand watts. I think it's watts. The metal refinery wants 1,200 watts, so basic wire isn't gonna cut it. We're gonna need some other form of power. Well, power transfer were, that being the conductive wire, which is made from refined metal, or the heavy watt wire that uses the metal ore, but can't pass through blocks. Both have their pros and their cons, depending on what you have going on. 
But the other thing that metal refinery needs is that it needs a source of liquid for coolant. And this is why I want oil. Because oil has an extremely high heat capacity until it doesn't become oil anymore. So the machine can essentially... The machine runs, puts all of its extra heat into the oil, and then I can use that oil to maybe heat other things up. Like maybe water that could be used to boil water that could then be used to power a steam turbine. This is where 800 refined metal and 200 plastic comes in great hand because the steam turbine will essentially take any of the steam that is being made because of that hot oil and that hot oil that's connecting to water that is turning that water into steam where the machine then takes that takes some of the heat from the steam to make well get hot itself but turn the extra heat into energy and then turn that steam back into water which can then flow back into the system thus making an endless loop of hot oil comes in heats up water turns into steam steam essentially gets turned into power which gets turned into water which helps cool down the oil essentially in an endless loop and depending on what you're doing i want to say Different metals have different heat capacities, like gold will generate heat, but it's a very small amount, whereas steel will generate a lot of heat, to the point that I think it can actually be self-sustaining from a steam turbine or two. So you could just just keep on, you won't even need to against running on hamster wheels. You just have to make sure that you actually are getting rid of enough heat and whatnot, so depending on how it goes, you might need another steam turbine. Or three, or whatever. But I think with all that, that is pretty much everything we got going on right now. That was about four hours of recorded footage. And this could have been done much faster, especially if I decided to just bite the bullet sooner than I did. Just to get all the refined metal. But assuming that everything goes well, we should be moving on ahead to further into the mid-game. And eventually get started into the end game. Assuming that, well... We are able to produce enough oxygen, and enough food, and have enough power, and maybe get the research done, and have the knowledge to actually survive. It should be interesting. So until next time, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have yourself a fantastic day, a fantastic tomorrow, and I will see you around next time. Until then, later!